Good afternoon. My name's Norman McNamara, or Norns, as you know, um, that's my friends. And at the age of 50, which was five years ago this month, I was diagnosed with dementia of the Alzheimer's type. 18 months ago, that was then changed to Lewy body's type, dementia. This is what we've done since. I had two choices. I could have sat back and done nothing and just let the disease take over, or we could have tried and done something about it. So what did we do? First of all, we started by writing blogs. And then the blogs turned into books. And then I founded what they call Dementia Awareness Day, which will be held on September 15th this year. It was first held on September 17th this year, last year. Again this year it's gone global. And again there'll be events happening all over the world. Then we also created Planting Memories, which is a brand new century garden that will open up in different gardens um, different nursing homes and different care homes across the country. So people who have dementia and their loved ones can sit out and enjoy themselves and chill. Then earlier this year I was asked, I was lucky enough to be asked to go down to London to meet David Cameron and he wanted to know how we could go about making dementia friendly communities. This is what we did until there. We decided to keep it simplistic. We decided that we knew that if we approached all the businesses with strategies and action plans and pie charts and things like that, we knew we'd be in trouble. So what we did, we simply got one document for the Alzheimer's Society, and we, which explained all the types of the main types of um, dementia. <clears throat> and then I also wrote a document out myself of the problems that I've had when I've gone into shops. And the problem with dementia, people with dementia have as in money handling, tones, spatial awareness, all these are available and if anybody wants them, I'm more than happy to send them on to you. The way we've done this is really simple. Um, we, it's been diagnosed, it's been digressed, it's been dissected, but it works. What we do, physically we're walking into these businesses, physically we're saying, would you please ask your staff to read these documents so they then become dementia aware. We go back a week later and say, have you read, or two weeks later, depending on the size of the firm. We go back, I say, have you read this? And they said, all our staff have now read it. And we are awarded a small badge that says we are dementia aware. It is that simple. If you work out, every company we've been into has 100 employees that's read this. At the moment, we have over 121 companies who've joined us in this Dementia Family Communities within Tor Bay. We intend not only being the first Dementia Family Community in the country, but we will be the first Dementia Family Resort in the United Kingdom. And I don't think that day is too far off because we're going great guns at the moment. We have the likes of Tor 2, 350 employees. The English Review 2 is board are backing us. They have under their wings over a thousand hotels. Multiply that by the number of employees and the number of people they have come across. We have the likes of Wilkinson's, Asda's, co-ops. They've all been so receptive and also good because we're not asking the world. All we're doing is to ask. Please just read these, understand what people may come across and understand that dementia is not something to be frightened of. A perfect example is Wilkinson signed up with us and um, two days after all the staff at Wilkinson's had read all the documentation they came across a lady who was distressed and disorientated because of the documentation we had given them to read because the staff realised they had nothing to panic about and it was just a normal illness like any other illness they sat the lady down, they calmed her down, they got a phone number out of her they phoned the family that a lady got home safe because of what the people had read about the Tor Bay Dementia Action Alliance. When Ellen and myself were started this journey nearly five years ago, we always said if we could help one person, then it would be worth it. Well, we've done that. So I suppose we could do say a job done. But it's not. As you know, we might have won the battle, but we still need to win the war. More and more people are joining the Torbay Dementia Action Alliance. 
more and more people want to know about it and that's because we're talking to them physically. We're talking to them face to face. We're not asking them to read through lots and lots and lots of information because believe me, these guys are busy as we are and they don't want to do anything like that. What we've done, we've taken what we call the inverted triangle approach. Whereas before you had the triangle, you had the bosses, and you came down to the ground floor. What we've done, we've turned that triangle round, so we're starting on the ground floor and filtering upwards. So by the time that the guys who knows what's going on, which is us at the ground level, have done the groundwork, paved the way, to explain what dementia is all about and how to, we can make things better within the community then by the time it filters up to the bosses, the bosses still the bosses, don't worry you've still got your jobs but by the time it filters up to them half the work should be theoretically and relative and it will be, half the work will be done because the people who know what they're talking about have actually got in there and said we want to make a difference and that's exactly what we're doing here in Taipei we're making that difference. I don't know what the future holds. This is my fifth year now with dementia. And if it wasn't because of the drugs, the abixa, and the excellent that I'm on, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing, what I'm doing now. I have a vague memory of what I was like before the drugs. And I do know that since the drugs, I've got my life back. And since the drugs, I know that not only myself, but my family and friends have dedicated to making things better. For not only for us, but for people with this awful disease. All we want the community to do is come together like it used to do. And we want to show them that there's nothing to be frightened of. People say to me, are you frightened of having dementia? I say, oh yes, yes, I'm absolutely petrified. I'm, I'm nobody's fool. I lost my father and my grandmother to this disease. So when I got told I had this awful disease, I knew exactly what to expect because I'd seen what happened to them. But on saying that, do I think there'll be a cure? Because we all know it's terminal. Whichever way you look at it, it's a terminal disease. Do I think there'll be a cure? Of course I think there's a cure. Of course I think there's going to be a cure. I couldn't get up in the morning if I didn't think there weren't going to be a cure. I couldn't look my grandchildren in the eyes every day and say, oh no, your granddad's going to be around for quite a while, yeah, if I didn't think there was going to be a cure. So that's exactly what I believe. And I think that cure will come in my lifetime. But until then, we need to make sure that the dementia fund and the communities are in place. We need to make sure that people know all about this disease. It's not all about Alzheimer's and it's not all about forgetting. It's about life skills. I can't fasten my shoes. I can't fasten the buttons on my shirt. I need help getting dressed. I can't show you anymore on my own. I've been known to put shower gel on my teeth and I've actually tried to clean my teeth with a razor which wasn't very pretty. So what you see at the moment is not necessarily what you get. But these things are sent to try and it's the hand that life's dealt us. And we can either get on with it and do something about it, or we can just let it back and let it take over. Well, I'm not going to do that. And I promise I'll fight this for as long as I can. And when I can't, I know there's loads of guys behind me that will carry on fighting this. If you do need anything to know anything about the Torbay Dementia Friendly Communities or the Torbay Dementia Acts Alliance, you'll find me on Facebook, you can be Noam Mac, or you can email me on norms, that's n o -R -R -M -S, at gmail.com. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.